that long, man. So I guess how does it, how does it feel to be here and, and prepping and, and fighting again? Man, I never, I never felt out of the business, you know. Um, Myron, on ESPN Plus, <laughs> let's do it again. Let's do it again. She just cut him. You just cut him <laughs> by accident. Welcome back, and it you know it feels like you never left. I mean, it feels like you're here the whole time, but I guess you know you're getting ready to return. So how does it feel right now? Man, like I just said, I never felt like I was out of the business. And just, I just didn't, didn't feel any more in the UFC, you know. I have a lot of respect. They treat me well. And I make a run to the title. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't accomplish my dream. I want to hold that belt. But I believe, like mostly of the fans, the people that know MMA, uh, I was the number one at some point at 135 pounds. I gave my all to the division. I made so many sacrifices. And man, I felt like I did what I have to do, and, and even not getting the belt, I, I, I put on a show. I, every time I was fighting, people stopped to talk to everyone, stopped to eat, to watch, and that's what drove me, you know. Uh, since I signed with them, I said I'm here to fight with the best and give a tough, tough fight to anyone, and man, 100%, every time my opponents step inside the cage with me, they were worried about something. They were not comfortable at all. They were not thinking they have an easy fight. Did you lose any passion at all? Like, this time, was there any part at all where you were like, man, I'm, I don't even want to be around this, or did you stay in the gym the whole time? Like, No, not, not, not for the training, not to be around these people in the gym, not to support the people that have the same dream I do. Um, but um, I just didn't want to get to the UFC to, to go over everything again, you know, I need something else, you know, I need some another drive to compete, something that would drive me to get to the competition, you know, and train because I, man, I want to get in there, I want to put on a fire, you know, I want to, I know who's sitting outside the cage loves me, I know who's sitting outside the cage loves to watch me fighting, and they bleed, you know, I know the people behind Professional Fighters League, they bleed, they were fighters, and they are people that respect their fighters, their champions, not just their champions, but anyone that step in there. I know Ray and all the crew, they respect them because Ray compete, you know, Ray was a, a professional fighter. For many of us, he was like a big name. For me, I was, I was always a big fan of him. And that's what's driving me, you know. I want to compete for that guy. I want to compete for that team. And I want to represent the Professional Fighters League. I would say, does you kind of like coming home a little bit? I mean, I know it's a different name now, but it's a lot of the same people, right? Yes. Do what I love for who I love. That's awesome. Uh, and, and it changed the division as well, right? How much is that going to affect you? Is it better, worse, different? Uh, I think speed, power, you know. And I'm not struggling at all. I'm eating healthy, you know. I'm... I'm living a life, you know, I'm not uh, eating anything I can, but at least I'm not in sauna every day, like I see most of the guys. And right now I see, and I go in sauna for five minutes maybe, and I see the other guys and I'm man, in their head, they know they have to do that because they gotta get the weight. And for me, I'm gonna get the weight because that's my weight. Last thing for you, talk about the matchup itself, right? On paper, it looks like it's gonna be a pretty crazy fight. To yeah, sense. yeah, I have a lot of respect for Shane. I think it's a Big, big, big fighter, they got big name. And why not fight him, you know? Big fight, and for the show, put two of the guys that are coming, they are hot, they wanna put on a show, they wanna prove that worth. And for me, uh, I'm gonna welcome him, because I'm home, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let that happen, you know? And I, I have to win this fight, and for me, you know, just for me, no pressure at all. I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna put on a show, I'm gonna shock everyone, and they will see what I still can do inside the octagon. After your last fight, when you decided, you know, enough is enough, did you always have that sort of in the back of your mind, thinking, I might, I might come back, or were you kind of like, no, I'm done? Man, it's just tough to say that, but man, I just didn't want to see that people anymore, you know, like, you lose a fight and you have to look at the, I have a lot of respect for everyone, but I just don't want to see that people, you know, like all the backstage and the same thing. I want to click. I want something different that drives me. And when the opportunity to come to Professional Fighters League came, I couldn't hesitate, man. That's, I'm going to see people that, that I hang out, people that they are true friends, you know, that 
if I lose a fight, they, they're going to bump on my shoulder, and I know they're honest, you know. They're not like just, he's a piece of something, you know. And I'm here. I'm here to stay, and I'm not going to be an easy fight to anyone. And, guys, don't count me out. I'm a 35er, but I believe 135 pounds is the toughest division in all divisions, and I did a lot. I put Armand Sterling out, and you guys just saw what he did to TJ, and I believe I can put anyone out at 45 as well. Would you say, like you said about you know wanting something new, was it that you left the UFC on bad terms, or you just wanted you know? No, no, good terms, man. It's just like of the feeling, you know. I just don't want to be that anymore, you know. Like, I just want something new for my life. I just want to accomplish something. And uh, unfortunately, I want to get to the UFC, get the belt. I didn't get the belt, and I want something different. I wanna, I wanna do this because I love, because I love. Not because I just want to do. I want to go in there. I want to make that money. I want to fight TJ Dillashaw. I want to fight Sean O'Malley. Fuck all these guys, man. I don't care who I'm fighting. I want to fight with good fighters, and I, w I want to fight for who I love. Obviously, all the names you just mentioned have recently fought. What have you made of that division since you left? you still feel like, even if you were to go back in there, you'd still be right at the top of the other names? Man, it's just a matter of timing, you know? Timing, and the timing wasn't there anymore for me, and... I think, I believe that the time passed and you maybe lose a little bit, you gain a little bit, and I, I, I kind of felt a little out, you know. But of course, my skills, the level I fight, I can be a tough fight for any one of these guys. You just saw uh, what Sterling just did to TJ, you know, and uh, the 35 division is top 15, the, the, the toughest fighters in the world. Sean O'Malley is number... 15, 13, I don't know, to be honest. He fought Peter Young. Peter Young was a former champion. And look what he did to Peter Young. He, I don't think he won the fight, but he put on a fight. It was a tough fight. Uh, for a lot of people, could go both ways. I, I, I think Young won, but I kind of could see the other way as well. But I believe Young won, and that's the level I was in. That's the level of competition I put myself through. And we see a lot of fighters when they're moving up in weight almost become like a, a new fighter. You know, when you're going up to weight, you you'll probably keep your speed and even be more powerful at 45. Yeah, man, I can't wait to, to feel, you know. I am feeling in training, and I can't wait to feel that in, in a fight, that you really can mu murder the guy, you know, that you can throw, throw hard. And in the training, uh, I'm already feeling the difference. I'm focused on my skills and not much on my diet, on uh, training like like crazy cardios, you know, like right now I, I'm feeling energized, you know, I'm starting training and I'm finishing in the same way I'm starting, you know. Finally, going off what you're saying, does this almost feel like a, a new chapter in your career, you're in a different mindset, you're happy and ready to, I guess? Yeah, 100%, man. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy the fighting, you know, I'm gonna have fun and especially in training training um it's 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 we fight three five minute rounds and we train 100 five minute round and i am doing 100 five minute round i was doing hurting myself now i am enjoying those 100 rounds and i believe the three five minute rounds against Shane burgers i'm gonna be the best marlon moraes i've ever been how tough has it been, been on this losing streak? Like, you're not used to losing, and now you're on this four fight. Like, how tough has that been on you? Man, it's not easy. I'm not going to lie to you, but I, I have to think on a whole because I can't just throw myself out of this. Because the fighting, you only fight once a year. You only fight twice a year, but you train every day, and I know I'm there. I know the level's there. I know I can beat anyone, and I cannot keep thinking, oh, I lost four fights in a row, but eh, I, I won 15 in a row. So I got to think about what I always done for the sport and what I accomplished, you know, and I see my worth and I know I, I'm, the signing with the Professional Fighters League is going to bring out on me something really good. I know you've said in the past that you don't really care what fans and what what media say about you losing speed, but do you hear them kind of say, like, is Marlon done? Is, is Marlon really taking this thing seriously? Man, of course I do hear, you know, because people tell message me, they ask me, and I, I really I really can't answer them with the words. I got to get in there and fight and win. That's it. Uh, and finally, 
a former opponent, Rafael Sansao, you fought him twice. He just snapped his losing streak with a big win. I just want to know if you saw that, and, and, and does that give you faith that, that you can say? Oh, 100%, man. Rafael is a great fighter. I like the guy, you know. We, we've been training in the past. We fought twice. And, uh, and I, when I saw him winning, I was really happy for him. And like you just said, pushes me a little more, you know. Man, let's get in there and let's get your skid away. Did Ray and his team reach out to you to come to PFL, and how long of a process was it from when you were done with UFC to actually get to PFL and sign? Man, I when I was done with the UFC, uh, we we were still on the contract, and uh, when I announced my retirement, um, I, I I've been talking with everyone. Ray is my friend, you know, and he always asks me, you know, we always talk, and we 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 talk with each other. He always texting me about my family, I text him about his family, because outside of Professional Fighters League, we know how to separate. He's my boss, but outside we are friends, you know? We can still have a great relationship. And man, Marlon, why not try 45, man? Maybe you're hurting yourself, and when someone like a legend tells you something like that, and people that really care about you, uh, make you think, man, I think it's time, you know, it's time to stop hurting myself. I weighed 160 pounds, 163, I can keep cutting, training at 150, like hurting already my body and still having 15 pounds to go. So let's make a run, let's, let's do it, you know, and that's how we approach to each other and we start the conversations and it was, was kind of cool, you know, because uh, it's, it's such a great thing. To, to have coming from someone you really respect, you know, that's great. Did you watch any PFL prior? Were you into PFL oh, at all? And just oh, some of the fighters and some oh, things that were going on? Oh, every time I watch the PFL, I see myself in there because I was there one day, you know. Every time I was in the crowd, I see the backstage guy, I see the, the lady, everyone, and I know everyone, you know. So. Of course, I was happy in the UFC. I was fighting for the UFC. But you know, when you had a girl in the past and you don't have her anymore, every time you see her, you're like, <laughs> you know? That's my relationship with the Professional Fighters League. <laughs> and did you get to talk to any of the fighters? Did you get any, uh, you talked obviously with Ray, because you and Ray have that relationship. But did you also talk to any of the PFL fighters just to get their feel or, or talk to anyone else? Nah, no, no, no. Talk to Ray I else? know them already. I, I love the fighters. I have friends there fighting, but what they're gonna tell me, it's gonna be belong, you know. Uh, I believe Ray. If he, Ray says something, and I believe Pete, and if, if on the communication, you don't need anybody else, you gotta trust each other, and that's what always happened between us. Well, let me see you in the tournament next year. Of course. That's why I'm here. I don't wanna do one fight. I'm here to test myself on the whole, the whole season. I want to put in four fights in a year. Uh, that's my biggest advantage. These guys are killing each other. Each, each other, like, cutting weight like crazy. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not suffering at all. I'm going to go home now, eat whatever I want. Of course, I'm going to eat healthy, but I can eat as much as I can. And I have a fight in four weeks. Man, four weeks for 35 pounds, I was going to go home eat some grass. <laughs> Do you think if you go out and you put on a show in November and then you put together a nice run that you'll influence other fighters to say, hey, wait a minute, what am I killing myself here to make weight when guys are fighting at their natural weight and doing well? It's hard to say that, man, because on the mentality, a lot of people think, oh, I'm, I got to go down. I'm going to be stronger. I'm going to be bigger. It's not a matter of be stronger, be bigger. I always say I, I've been with Frankie Edgar and every Every partner he brought there, Bellator, I, I don't need to say names, Bellator champion, UFC champions, and PFL champions, everyone I see in the room sparring with Frankie, I've seen him getting the best of all. And he was 153, 52 pounds, you know. Thank you. You are getting into a division with other American Top Team teammates. Does that cross your mind or do you not even think about that until you get matched up? You never know, you know, that's, that's tough to say to, to who you're going to fight in the future. And I'll talk about certain fighter and I'll never fight him. 
So I keep the great relationship with everyone, but if one day we have to get locked in a cage and fight, we will fight. Do you see it just as a job? Yeah, of course, I will fight anyone. I don't have anyone that won't fight, you know. I'll fight anyone. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah.